What's up, everybody? Back to play some Crusader Kings. Um, last time we left off, we completed our, you know, our first goal, I'll say, of becoming King of England um, <clears throat> as Alfred the Great. So we are going to keep going, hopefully try to expand um, into Cornwall up here. Uh, we will... We are now a king, so we have the um, access to the royal court. Um, I think what could be cool, there's an achievement in this game called the uh, High Kingdom of the North Sea, which you have to become, you have to get England, Denmark, and Norway. So I think we might try that. But let's uh, first try to hold all of de jure um, England um, target as disbanded. Which is good. Sure, we'll show our vassal into our court. You're trying to learn, oh yeah, Duke John, Italian John, we're trying to learn Italian. Uh, let's see, a pallid individual who looks as if he has spent, she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft an impure corridor, your twisted heart desires. I can even add an oblette to your bedroom for your lover to throw. Oh my gosh. Um, we don't have enough gold for this. Uh, why do I have this? Uh, oh, I could become a deviant. I don't want to become a deviant. Um, I think... For now, we will. Hmm. We can go into debt, I think, for a bit. Uh, should we get spying holes or secret passages? Maybe more likely that we want to discover a scheme rather than need to escape a scheme. Uh, let's also see. I think um, we didn't uh, put many of these positions. We have a court physician, Sigurda, and. Menrick here is our uh, looks after our antiques. Um, we do have some children, so I want to get a court tutor. Um, Sigurda can double down on that. Um, gaining piety. Uh, let's see. Control growth, maybe as we are. Um, Trying to expand, we've just taken over some land. That would be a good idea. So, Zachariah seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. Of all the things, he could not stop talking about the rich clothes and the glittering gold he saw there. Um, so we could keep greedy, which he is his military focus, so that could be okay. We get some extra income, and or he could be gregarious. Gregarious is great. So what's our stress level like? Uh, 45, so it wouldn't be critical. If we could do that, we could host it. Oh, we are in debt. Uh, let's make him gregarious. Gregarious is great, uh, this bump here in his stats. Uh, diplomacy, attraction, opinion, and personal screen power. And people will think highly of him. They're generous. Um, oh, yeah, we're a king now, so it's quite a bit extra. Um, oh, the guy we just, uh... He just came to our court. Um, oh, his daughter is a queen. Oh, she's my wife. Um, we have this 15 here, a uh, 15 uh, intrigue, but we'll put a Duke Gamo here because he's a powerful vassal. Do that. His son. Oh, that's his sister. I'm married to his sister. Um, we'll do that uh, there. We'll let um, his liege can be the Duke of Mercia. We took.
Um, we need to get out of debt uh, so that we can go to war. Uh, I would love to go to war with uh, Cornwall, probably. Um, these guys, yeah, they're all the Vikings are allied, allied probably. Um, we will keep going down the gallant. Um, he is no longer allied to West Franca, but he is allied to Alba, who have a couple thousand men. Um, Reeve Born Thnoth has shown me the ins and outs of river crossings and landings. My final test is a mock battle against him. Yes, we'll become a forder, even though we already have basically the fording trait. All right, I get the trait, even though we already. Um, and just looking here, uh, I would love this as well. Um, I, I'm not really that concerned about uh, Gwynedd, but I want that little piece of land because it's de jure England. Um, the reason why I'm not going to try to go for Wales um, is because if I conquer, say I conquer too much of it, when I die, the title will automatically be created. And because I have multiple sons... Um, I mean, I guess I could and, you know, let sort of Robert, um, you know, start his own, um, kingdom, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, that might not be a terrible idea. Speaking of Robert, we should get him an educator. We'll give him my knight here. He's good at martial. See someone's in the chat. Thanks for joining. See who it is. Sega Dream, thanks for joining. Sega Dream, are you a Crusader Kings fan? Looks like Salerno has become Waldenism, which we don't want. Someone was saying last time we should consider becoming we should be consider becoming insular Christianity. Um which we could do if I look. Oh, that's not what I want. I want this one. Um so we're Catholic, right? We're Catholic, so we have armed pilgr pilgrimages. We have communion. Um, as we can seek indulgence. Lots of people are coming to Waldenus. Uh, and we have monks. Um, so I'm saying the holy sites, because this one... Well, these are... these are the, This one is currently owned by Jerusalem. But they're saying might be worth becoming insular Christian, although I think before there was one of the, oh, we, this is the one probably, um, that we could get the holy site uh, if we invaded Ireland. Um, I guess that's not, doesn't really matter if we become Christian or not. There is a reason why people seem to like insular Christianity. Um, I don't know. We will remain Catholic for now. Uh, we are out of debt, so let's look here. Uh, how strong is he? We are stronger, so we could... Let's go to war for my claim on Devon here. We will move our rally point. Let's move to the capital. Um, we have a, ro a declaration of love. I'm walking through the gardens, and Perrin is approaching. Uh, I... I don't want her to try and seduce me, so let's tell her to stop. I'll we'll raise all of our men. We will take uh, half of them. We'll have these guys. 
these ones chase them down there while the other ones siege out Devin. Oh, we caught him. We'll go siege out that as well. So the Kingdom of Alba has joined the war. Um, which doesn't really matter. He only has about... He has the majority of the army. Um, which is fine. We're going to speed this up for the siege. Uh, we'll just watch over here to see... Make sure that nobody is... Um, Alba doesn't start sieging up some of our land. Although if they siege some of the Northland, that's fine. Um, ooh, I learned. I learned Italian. I learned Italian vulgar. Hmm. I feel accomplished. Great. And I can no longer learn his language. Anybody we need to sway? Maybe our bishop here. Let's try to sway our bishop. Doesn't look like Alba. They're kind of, uh, oh, Cheshire. So they're up here. Um, we'll finish this off and then move up to attack them. Uh, I kind of need both armies. Um, we did take a petty king. So that's good. We could probably let these guys finish off the siege. Perfect. Let's join up. It's come to my attention that a lawless fugitive, Ada Berto, has been staying in your court. Hand them over or to meet my justice or I'll remember your cooperation for years. So you are a foreign ruler. You're over in Ireland. Um, Adalberto, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, not great. Sure. Sorry, bud. Um, let's have you all come up here. Hopefully, yeah, should be able to stop the siege. Ooh, Zechariah, our prince, has come of age. Uh, and he has become a skilled technician. Not bad. Three of, I uh, can't remember, it's four or five. But yeah, plus six to the marshal, marshal and he'll um, get some extra bonus points if he goes in there. Um, and also Elizabeth comes of age. Oh, yes, might is touched. Perfect. Let's um, let's finish off this war, and then we will look to marry them off. Uh, or marry them, uh, I guess. Looks like we didn't need this other army. We were able to defeat them pretty easily. This should hopefully bump the war score up to 100%. There we go. Enforce our demands and disband all. We will keep Devin for now because um, uh, I I can. I'm um, a control limit. Um, yeah, let's take some gold from the Pope. Let's ransom this child off. Um, we'll do that in a second. Um, yeah, we'll work on the control in Devin there. Um, we're still pretty stressed, so yeah, let's host a... Let's call a hunt. Um, before we do that, let's uh, get a master of the hunt. Yeah, we'll have Reeve Borneth, who's excellent. Let's see if that... Hmm, we don't have many servants. Oh, that's here. So that's in our court grandeur. We have very few servants. Um, let's have some servants. Um, and then we'll call the hunt. Um, let's look for some spouses. Um, we're going to sort here. I would like to sort by inheritable traits and then an alliance. Um, it's Kingdom of Asturias. Um, gosh, he's just four, so I don't think so. This nine, yeah, the alliance isn't very strong. Let's get rid of this, the inheritable trait, and then search by alliance power. So the West Franca, though, again, she's very young. Um, King of East Francia, though, pretty young. Um, ooh, Alba is interesting. We just went to war with them, but we could get an alliance let's let's do that i like that 
Um, we're not really going to go to war with Alba, um, sort of up in Scotland. I'm not super interested in their territory yet, so happy to do that. The only thing is we might get called into a bunch of wars, but I like, you know, I don't mind being called into a bunch of wars here versus, you know, if I'm getting called to war by East Frankie a little bit further away. Um, and then my daughter. So here's interesting. So I do have, you know, kind of you're looking for, you know, an heir and a spare, but um, what would the best alliance so we could get an alliance with East Francia. Um, he's young. Morovia. Morovia is interesting. So we could marry her off to get another powerful alliance. Could be helpful against the Vikings. Let's look at what our strongest alliance could be um, if it's matrilineal. Um, ooh, this is interesting. Um, they'd just be far, I bet. Yeah, they are Croatia. So it'd be far to get there. And then the other thing we could do is, although I like the idea of her, she has such a good steward stewardship skill, but the other thing we could, well, we could, so we could marry her off regularly, not even look for an alliance, look for somebody with a trait. Um, Robertine, this guy is down in the Duchy of Anjou. Uh, fun playing character to play as his brother. We could do that. And um, does he, he just has a claim. Well, maybe he does have the Duchy of Savoy. Let's see. Yeah, currently he's unlanded and has a bunch of claims. His liege is covered. Isn't his... Uh, Where's Count Udi's? There he is. The Duchy of Anjou. So you could marry him and then give him land um, at some point. So let's, let's do that for now. Uh, get a hail marriage. We could take over the a Cornwall and give him Cornwall. And then their children will inherit Cornwall. Um, which I like because she is quick. We could even give him Devon now if we wanted to. Or we could... Yeah, they have a lot of men and they're not even at full strength because they're fighting all the time. Um, okay, uh-oh. We're on a hunt. My son Zechariah went ahead of the group chasing a heart. I follow close behind and I find him standing above a commoner, tugging an arrow out of the poor woman's chest. As soon as he sees me, he hides his arrow behind his back. It was the heart, Father, I swear. Soon enough, the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. Okay, so I could try to lie and say that Zechariah uh, tried to save her. We try to cover it up completely where we put her in the ditch. Um... Gosh, this one, because we're honest and yeah, because we're honest, we're going to get, and just, we're going to get 80 stress. Uh, we're going to get that on either one of these, or I could kill my son, which I would not like to do. I think it is worth it to try and cover this up. So I am going to do this one. Um, yeah. And I'm going to try and freak, try to bear through the stress. Um, my stupid, stupid son, Robert. No, Zachariah, what are you doing? So we return home. Um, let's host a feast as soon as we can to try and reduce some of that stress. That was a bad hunt. That was bad. Um, yeah, gosh, that was bad. I would like some events to... Cool that stress down, but... It's a wrap. What we could do as well, so we could take a thing here. We could move over to learning 
and try to pretty quickly get through to um, through here. Let's let's do that. I I, I don't mind this um, path anyway. I like hold a body, makes you live a bit longer. Um, so let's do that. Almost at two hundred gold. Host the hunt. Hopefully we get some stress reducing events rather than stress gaining events. That was a tough one. Our stupid son killed somebody. Yeah, I think if we go here. Yeah. Poor Edgith. Welcome everybody to the feast. <clears throat> this guy likes my brother in law. He is the. Uh, Owns the Duchy of Mercia. Who owns this one? Yes, yeah, see? Reduce some stress. Just five, but that's okay. Who do you... Uh, you're right to me? Oh, because it's Lancaster. It's actually not Putcher, the Duchy of Mercia. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, yep, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell Duke Gamble that he should be ashamed of himself. Um, I will gain some prestige per month, but he will spend some prestige. Uh, as well as he'll lose some opinion of me. That's okay, we're at 100. Didn't even go below 100. That's great. Okay, that was okay. Not the best, um, but that's okay. Could have used more stress loss. Um... Okay, let's speed things up. We're not really doing, we're being raided. Yeah, let's get them. Like my gold back, please. Um, the very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness Pope Victor to declare his intention of forging a righteous alliance to expel heathens in the name of St. George. We have the Crusades. It's the name of the game. All right, fended them off. Got some, got 58 worth of gold back. Um, they are probably, um, yeah, they could use some control, but... So, Rise of the Normans. A group of Norse settlers hailing from Scandinavia have settled on the coast of northern France, making a new home for themselves there. Their leader, Duke Hastien, has decreed that the people shall adopt several local customs and traditions, ensuring that they will thrive in this new land. Um, oh, boy. They took over a big chunk of that. Yeah, they're up here, too. So, they're going to be... Yeah, they're very strong. Um, that's not great. That's a little worrisome. I don't... I don't love that. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, how'd they do that? I guess just conquered, eh? He's just a duchy. It's, you should probably make himself a king okay we could declare war um so i think yeah these guys are a lot allied with um jorvik and uh where are you okay you're far um but i don't really want to deal with all of you I, has it been it is not oh i don't have a cast this belly let's do that Jorvik will be the same. There's about 9,000 men. We could do with our gold at the moment is increase these a little bit. Um, so let's do one there, and then we're going to wait for Cornwall there to um, uh, the uh, the claim, which will cost money. Um, let's have our daughter Elizabeth. So she had a daughter. Let's see. No traits, but that's okay. Um, let's look at our other children. We've picked their focuses, right? Yeah, Marshall. We've not picked his. We will 
also might give a great commercial. I'm gonna make sure I don't want Zachariah, who is my son. I would like him not to be a knight. Um, he's not very good anyway, but we will forbid him. Let's make sure none of our other council men are. Forbid our steward, forbid our spy master. Our marshal can stay because he's our marshal. He probably should. My brother-in-law. How are you, my brother-in-law, and you are my sister-in-law? Oh, because you're my sibling's sister. You're my sibling's or my my wife's brother. Got it. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I think... <clears throat> I don't have enough gold, so I will say I'm ready to fight. Although we'll see how much fighting in this crusade I do. We will select our daughter as our beneficiary. Um, I've seen some people do this before. We're like, normally he'll go after... The Pope will go after the Kingdom of Jerusalem. But we could try to redirect it. Um, like, even this is interesting. If we could... Have him fight Lothian. Um, or even... Are any of the Vikings in here? Probably not. Because they don't own any of the kingdoms. So I wonder if I could... Yeah, I'll see you in, man. I wonder if I could convince... Um, it'd be 500... Uh, when is it going to kick off? Let's see. 17 months. Let's wait a little bit because I don't want to redirect it and then somebody else pay to redirect. Oh, he's going after... Who's he going after? He's going after Jorvik. That's great. That's better. Don't go after friggin' Jerusalem. They're too powerful normally. Let's we'll support him in this. Uh, prisoner died in my cell. Oh, this is great. Let's be athletic. Um, and I think we can uh, work off some stress. Um, we will get a little bit of lower general opinion, but that's fine. So we're going to war with Jorvik. That's really really great. If we could weaken, I mean, if we could take over this territory. Um. By someone not I prefer, yeah it's not the the best maybe I do want West Francia yeah. just because I'll eventually want to take over Jorvik and it'll be harder if it's somebody who's Catholic not impossible um hmm. I could try to switch it we have an event here um a foul smell, a friend, a word, please. My Chancellor Duke John approaches me during a brief law while attending court matters. He gestures a less populated spot in the room. I'm concerned about the state of Wareham Castle while holding a meeting in one of the rooms. We all noticed a horrific smell. Must have come from the latrines. Uh, I don't have enough gold. Okay, perfect. Our steward was able to get us a nice deal. Hi, Melissa. Okay, I might, I might want to switch this. When does it launch? 10 months. Let's redirect it to here. Oh, it didn't work. No, it did work. Did it work? I don't know. Yes, it did. Okay. So we're going after Lothian, which is um, up here and over here. So let's hope that that sticks. Uh, we'll have more men than them. Almost 30,000 to their almost 19,000. 
which is great. I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end 6,000 years after its creation. By my calculations, we are less than a century away. Uh, Goslin urges me to keep it to myself, leave it to the clergy and avoid panic. But what if your calculations are wrong? Hmm. So I could gain some learning experience. I could gain prestige, but I would spend some piety, which I have. I could gain... We'll do that. We'll gain... It's a little bit of a prestige slash for an extra bit of um, piety. Um, so we'll do that. Let's hold court. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall, a stream of people file. Um, my chancellor pulls me aside. To my surprise, he is brandishing a garish nose ring. My lord, there will be so many attending your court. I know you have somewhat challenged in remembering every face and from whence it hails. I propose a solution. We require all at the court to wear dress, which includes local style recognizable to all. He foists a garter at me. For those without clear regional fashions, I've taken the liberty of hiring a tailor who can suggest some new traditional garb for them to wear. So it's a diplomacy challenge. Interesting. So we could gain a bunch of diplomacy. I guess, I guess so. I guess, well, like, it seems like it's local tradition, Melissa, for him to have a nose ring, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, where am I? So I could get an extra diplomacy point or I could get a bunch of diplomacy experience. I think or I could spend a bunch of money. I'm gonna take the diplomacy point, even though I have a buttload. But we'll do that. A haggard looking peasant now stands in front of me. My lord, I beg for your help. The monster prowls in the forest of Devon, killing cattle and farmers alike. Few have seen it, but the mangled remains of its poor victims leave no doubt. It's clearly a huge boar, as bloodthirsty as few have ever been seen. Send your strongest hunters. I don't wanna spend money. Um, I could go fight it. I'm very, I'm very capable. I'm Alfred the Great, you know. Uh, or I could tell him it's his fault, or it's his problem. Um, yeah, let's fight a boar. Let's kill a boar. Um, I have a new person in my court named Randolph, an, an, an envoy from the guy we're about to go to war with. Uh, it has come to my attention that you are harboring an individual particular interest. Goslin has a claim to the county of Sable. Um, no, I'm not going to let him, I'm not going to let him leave. We're about to go to war with that guy. I'm not going to give you somebody. Silly. Um, let's see. I can educate my son because I'm a good marshal. We're training him to be a good marshal. Um, this guy wants a position, which you can have. You're better than this guy. We'll swap you out. Okay, let's see. Four months, and then we're going to go to war with these Vikings. All Catholics. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, the monster of Exeter. All the preparations completed. I set out with a selected group of guards to face the infamous monster that is terrorizing Exeter. Doesn't take us long to find it. A clear trail of blood leads us straight to the creature's abode. This is very D&D, Melissa. Feels like. I was already informed of what to expect, but when the massive boar finally stands in front of me, I can't help but shiver. Um... Okay, pretty good chance I can beat it. 0% chance I die, which is the one thing I do want to avoid. Um, or I could just leave and lose a bunch of prestige. But but we'll try and face it. Yeah, I killed it. Gain a bunch of prestige, and I gained the trait Novice Hunter, which is great. Uh, where's that? Over here. Plus two prowess and some stress loss, which is perfect. I'm very stressed. Yeah, I try to avoid dying. Although, the fun thing about this game is if you die, you just play as your heir. Like, if we die, we'll just play as this guy. Um, who's a drunkard, which sucks. But, you know. Uh, yeah, this guy wants a position, but he's not as good as anybody else. He's worse. So he can hang out. 10 days to the crusade. All right. So, crusade time. We'll move our rally points, move our army 
Uh, oop, that's not me. Uh, we'll stay up here. Let's go right... Oh, not the time. Uh, ooh. So basically what's happening here is they... I tried to... I wanted to claim on this county down here. Um, but it came at the exact time I'm going to war and going to need to spend money. So we're going to leave that for now. That's too bad because the full duchy would have been great. Let's chase after these... Uh, these guys. Fight them. Listen, do you want to name my son? I have a, I have a, th one, two, three, fourth son. I like to let the chat name my, my children. Jimothin. Oops. May you grow strong and wise. He's quick, Jimothin. That's great. These are like inheritable traits that you can get. Uh, yeah, the fancy map view is pretty good. That's pretty fun. Um, oop, I accidentally got caught in two battles, so hopefully that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one down here. Oh no, Jimothin is sick! Uh-oh. Uh, all babies cry, but little Jimothin, there's no end to tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. The little lord is not getting as much weight, is not gaining as much weight as he should. He's sickly. That's bad. That's no good. So we're going to lose this battle. We might... I did a very bad thing. Let's get this perk. We're just going to... Uh, get a better position. Our daughter... Hmm. <laughs> um, we could bring him off to this guy, but he's sadistic. Um... Oops, we want matrilineal. <laughs> Looking for someone for my daughter to marry. We could just go for full alliance power. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's very good alliances though. Yeah, these aren't great. Okay, let's marry her somebody with a... Oh, I see what I was doing. Let's get rid of that and then go buy alliance power. We already have an alliance with Alba. Yeah, these don't seem worth it. Not enough army power. Yeah, too many, too many quick messages. Jimothin is sick. They should, they should have a special Jimothin is sick, uh, you know, feature where you're allowed to send messages really quick. We'll just do this one for the trade. She's intelligent. Um, yeah. So now, yeah, we lost both of those battles. That was really bad. Um, our marshal died, so we'll get a new one. This guy can come back. He looks great. This is a great outfit. Yeah, we're going to lose this battle as well. It's okay. We'll regroup to the south. We don't have many more men than they do. Let's... Would be good to attack their capital. Speed up the time. Jimothin hasn't died yet. That's good. Still sickly, but... Okay, we have their capital. Oh, that's not even their capital. This is actually their capital. That's who we're fighting. Yeah, I bet our army is, like, way too spread out. Um, this person wants to uh, try to swear me in a way. Another... S an <laughs> not dead yet. Another, s another, uh, another son. Too many sons, probably, but... What should we name it? Um, Melissa? It. Him. Whatever. He doesn't, he doesn't know his gender yet. It's a baby.
Oh, random name generator. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, there basically is one here. That's why I like this game so much. You could name him Paul. I always think Paul is a very funny name for somebody uh, to be named who is in a position of authority. Um, I think we're going to lose this crusade, which kind of sucks. Elizabeth can marry. Oh, her husband must have died. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Just try for. We'll for sure get this quick trade, so we'll do that. Holy power. Although he's like very low in line to become king. Uh, one, two, three, four, fifth in line. So probably not. I wonder if he'll, we can see if he'll get anything. So Zechariah will get the kingdom of England and Wessex and Dorset and White. And then they all get split. So Paul will get something. He's going to get the earldom of Hampshire. It's good for him. That's actually pretty good. It's currently my capital. No, it's not. It's next to my capital. Um, yeah, you can you can do that. Didn't you just marry? Oh, I I didn't I, I need to I need to pause. There we go. That little boy wrote me a letter. <laughs> so funny. I love when the artwork comes up and shows. Oh. Oh no. They stole my sword. Excalibur. Oh man. That's my good sword. <laughs> this game is very silly. Yeah, we lost the crusade. Um, that's okay. I didn't really lose anything. Gosh. Oh, they did kidnap my son. I did lose I did lose some stuff. Uh yeah, we'll do that. They also kidnapped Amba. So I'll have to uh hopefully they'll let me ransom her. Okay. Uh, so that, that crusade was bad. It was a bad crusade. We did a bad job. Um, I don't have any, I don't have enough gold for this. That's my claim on Cornwall. I don't have gold. I'm going to wait. Oh, my wife died. Till death do us part. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am, my heart beating on wilts while yours has gone quiet. Oh, Eelswith, my songbird, life will not be the same without you. Yeah, of course you only care about it was not Jimothan or Paul. It was Stephen who got ran, uh, got kidnapped. And I'm overwhelmed by stress. Can I do anything about that? Probably not. We could get married, though. Let's try and find an alliance. Um, preferably, they are an adult. <laughs> That's how this game goes. Uh, marriages in this time were often not, uh, you know, not for pleasure, mostly for business. Um, yeah, I'm stressed because my wife died. So I could become melancholy. I could just be sad. I lose a lot of stress. And I'm, it doesn't really affect my stats that much. Or I could become a drunkard. Uh, let's let's become melancholic. It doesn't. It's not that bad. Yeah. Um, who should we marry? Who? there's not really... I thought there'd be more potential alliances, but... Oh, you know what? It's because I have inheritable traits on. Okay. Uh, this lady? Mm, she's vengeful and a drunkard. I don't think so. Yeah, it's great. Well, I could have just chose to drink, you know, because I was sad, but 
Um, boy. Um, the other thing we could do is we could... How old am I? 41. I could try and just find... Somebody who's very skilled. And I would like them to be noble. Not lowborn. Um, ooh, she has lover's box. Probably not. Probably not Engelberg. <laughs> uh, maybe this gene. Oh, she's vengeful as well. Vengeful isn't that bad. It's just that the Pope won't like it. Maybe Ad Adeline. She's fine. She's fickle, calm, and content. She's like 20 years older than me. But that's fine. We'll do that. See, I lost some stress. Okie doke. Uh... I can work off some stress. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What other traits could we possibly want? I'll tell, show you what my previous wife was. She was, uh, she was compassionate, generous, and diligent. That actually sounds pretty great. She actually sounds like a lovely lady. All right, let's see. The latest work of my acquaintance, Prince Highwell, has become all the rage as of, at court as of late. The piece deals with the feelings of sorrow and loss. Probably about my dead wife. Um, autumn of morning, no matter, how, no matter how many days twist and pass, winds whisper coldly through the grass. Alone, bereft, without that sweet man, we wander, wondering where hurt began. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to mo ignore for much longer. So... I could try to laud the poem or I might end up mocking it or I can just tell him it seems heartfelt. I don't see the difference here. I guess I gain prestige. Love that poem, man. Yeah, well, my old, my old queen, uh, also that's, that's, Jimothan and Paul's mom, you know? Jimothan's still sick. Um, hmm. Should fight these Vikings. Oh, somebody else already did. Okay. Okay, basically just uh, waiting for my bishop to get me a claim on Cornwall, and I have enough money, and then we'll attack them. Um, for now, ooh, Adelacia de Orbatella would like me to would like to make me a, a brooch. That sounds great. I don't have enough money though. Maybe later, I'll take a nice brooch. Twins. Here, we'll just hit these buttons. Mm. Okay. It's not me. This is my daughter. My oldest daughter. Um, so we can have Bart and Beatrice. That sounds great. Yeah, that was my daughter. But King Alfred has like seven kids no that no and my new wife i intentionally made her too old to have children so i wouldn't have any more because for real though the succession stuff is going to actually be kind of a pain in the butt like my son zachariah is not going to be nearly as powerful as i am what i should actually be start doing is taking over land and giving it to these other kids so that the stuff I actually want to keep stays with my oldest son. So, yeah. This game's a weird one. Until I can change succession laws. 
That's what I need to do, basically. Oh no, Jim! <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh. Outliving a child. I had so many hopes for you, my sweetest child. All the things you would learn, experience, and do. There were so many possibilities, a whole life to live. Maybe you would have had children of your own one day. But now none of the things will ever come to be. <clears throat> well, that's pretty sad, and I'm going to get stressed. <clears throat> um, sad music for Jimothan. Uh, I'm going to unlock Carefree to lower my stress gain. Um, <clears throat> so the problem was that this is like very early on in the game, 891. And I actually can't change those laws. Um, so right now, the succession laws I have, basically, um, this isn't that bad for now. But basically what it means is like all my children, unless they're women, can't can't change that. You can't actually you can't kill your children anymore. In this game, you used to be able to, but you can't. Um, like, watch. If I try to kill Zachariah, Zachariah is your child. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, before I can unlock more of these, I actually have to, like, our, our culture actually has to, like, unlock the ability to do it. Like, I think if I click here. Um, anyway. I don't have all of the right laws to be able to do it. And then it's a slow process to do it. You also have to increase like your crown authority before you can change a lot of your succession stuff. Yeah. See, so I can't go to level two crown, crown authority until we have plenary assemblies, which I could focus on. It will still take like 37 years. And then I would have to like be able to, I'd have to like update up upgrade my authority and then change the law and all of my vassals have to approve the law. So it's going to be a while before this game goes to like, I think the end date of the game is like 1367 or something like that. Yeah. So, um, what I'm basically trying to, what I would like to do in this campaign is to become king of all like de jour England. It's uh, 891 right now I would like to become king of all of Dejur England and then Denmark and Norway there's like an achievement over here which is secure the kingdom of the North Sea um, so you have to become king of England Denmark and Norway is kind of what I would like to try to do but it's it's pretty tricky um, there's a 0% chance this will fail so I'll help Mr. Gamble he became my friend. That's very nice. Okay, how much longer? Five months, and then we can go to war with stupid Cornwall. Oh no, my counselor died, my steward. Ooh, this guy's very good. So I could give it to, this guy's little name is literally Wolf. That's pretty great. Um, Cause he's a powerful vassal. Um, but this guy's so much better. 22 to 15. Uh, no, I see, I'm Canadian, so I don't mind living in a place that has, like... I live in Ontario specifically, so I don't mind being in a place that has bad weather, you know? Um, ooh, we should convert this Cornish culture. We don't, we don't want it to be Cornish. All right, this should fire off. Steven, he can be just. He could be cynical or temperate. I think we'll make him just. See, it's done. Okay, let's go to war with Cornwall. Let's take this piece of property. Yeah, 8,000 men to their 1,000. Yeah, come on. Good luck, buddy. Melissa, I never, I th that's, you can be just and cynical. Not really in this game, but um, I feel like I've learned that I say buddy a lot. Um, uh, I never, I didn't realize until I was playing. Um, Uh-oh, 
extramarital affair. Yeah, like, I'll be like, uh, don't try that, buddy. You know, bud. So just go kill these people. And send this army to go fight this army. We can go up there. All right. Busy to mitts another day at court. I overhear my wife, Queen Adeline, distinctive irate tone. Agath seems to have got her goat. Stepping closer, I see my guest smugly. Ju I think it is the game. I say bud in this game. I don't think I say it elsewhere. Um, these so-called fashions are an embarrassment. They would be fit only for servants and children at any respectable Greek court. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, because Agath is Greek. Sick burn, wife. My wife flushes red and cries. I've had quite enough of you. I don't care if you're the king's guest, much to Agath's surprise. Pulling me aside... <laughs> Adeline moans bitterly that ungrateful witch never ceases to mock us yesterday my servants overheard her calling our trends passe she's French of course she would say passe um, <clears throat> my wife could lose opinion of me we could increase the fashion of the court or I could make Agath leave but I would gain stress. Let's improve the fashion of the court. What is the fashion now? Decent fashion. Currently we have bland food, decent fashion. We have some servants and we have minute lodgings or minute lodgings. We're ranked pretty low in the world. Hmm. All right. Yeah, drama in the court for reals. We'll speed up this war because we're going to win. Ooh, we could... S okay, we'll take this Cornish war banner. Here, we can put it in the court. Hang it on the wall. Looks great. Yeah, decent fashion. I think it's really expensive to have better fashion than that. We probably can't change the fashion, but we could have haute couture fashion or stylish fashion. Here we go. We win the war. War scores at 100%. Now we own Cornwall. All of it. Um, let's do some control there. So this is where I'm wondering, yeah, so I have too many domains anyway, but let's, um, we'll definitely give Cornwall to someone. Oh no, I named, I named Impala. I'm going to have to fix, well, whatever. Um, who should I give this to? I guess probably Robert. Let me see if that. Ooh, uh, okay, I might need to also give him. Yeah, I need to give Robert Devin as well. Now what are they getting? Here, we'll change his name to Paul. Um, Paul's getting Surrey. Oh, the reason why they're getting more is because Jamathan died. I couldn't under... I was like, I feel like this isn't the same. Yeah, it's because one of their brothers died. Um, oops, buddy. Let's go to war for this whole duchy because he only has 500 men. Do this real quick. Ooh. 
Oops. Need you to siege my daughter in law. Generous. Yeah, diligence the best. Um, what's my stress at? 184. Yeah, I can't afford to be more stressed. I'll have you go attack up there. There we go. Okay, we eliminated some Vikings. And now what we should do is give this whole thing to Steven. At least two of them. What does that do for a succession? Steven's going to get Suffolk anyway, so let's give it to him. Actually, no. Well, yeah, that's fine. He can have Suffolk as well. Can I make him a duke? I need to I need some gold to usurp the title. Okay. Work off some stress. Let's hold court again. In a brief moment of silence, I see Thane Alfric making a face before realizing that it's his turn to speak. My liege, he says, giving him some precious time to finalize his thoughts before continuing. Smiles and laughter are a great indicator of a lively court. Thus, I have a suggestion for someone who would make a great gesture. My friend, if I may, Duke Gamble speaks up from the sidelines. A gesture will ruin the sophisticated air of this court and replace its refinement with crude infantile humor. Infantile. So we could make... This guy, a jester. Which I think, if he's jester, he'll write dicks on everything and, you know, he'll have a funny accent. Um, Duke Gamble likes me. Let's hire a jester. See, he looks great. <clears throat> Duke Bernard, my nephew, strides forward, eager to hear my response to his petition. My uncle... Mercy is amongst the greatest houses of England. Mercy's counsel should always be heard by the king, including your most qualified and prominent followers. Only serves to sow decision, decision, division, and mistrust. Um, I don't want him to have. He basically wants guaranteed counsel rights, and I would not like him to have guaranteed counsel rights. Um, so he can lose opinion of me. That's fine. And then, as soon as it's his turn to speak, the agitated man in front of me screams, The end is nigh. The signs are clear and everywhere. The people of Earldom of Cornwall know it all too well. Disorders, bandits, thieves, violence, and the disappearance of justice among men. Uh, he would like us to repent. Ooh, we could kill him. Ooh, but he's kind of... Ooh, he's kind of... Um, hmm. Yeah, we could say he's a witch if he's talking about... Yeah, let's burn the... We'll burn the witch. Bye, buddy. See, buddy. See? Oop. Uh, we have an <clears throat> another artifact. Oh, it looks like we got Excalibur back. Okay, so things are a little bit better with our succession, because now, well, Robert should be, well, he's still going to get a lot. I need to give Robert some more stuff. Hmm. Let's try and get this, which is du jour. It's du jour England. So let's try that. Uh, 
They really like the name Osber. Sure. Robert is now old enough to get married. Ooh, we could get an alliance with Lotharingia. Let's do that. That's great. 5,000 people. Yeah, that's great. Oh, she's actually the queen, I think. Is she? Yeah, wow. She's the queen. She's homosexual, though. Well, that's... I mean, I... I made... I said... The way I said that makes it sound like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Uh, my wife died. Melissa, we gotta move on again. Let's go for a second. Yeah. Um, if I'm 45, let's go for someone about five years age different. Ooh, yeah, genius. I'm not murdering. I could murder my wives, and I'm. Not, you're not watching me do it. Like, watch. I'm gonna marry this woman. We can modify some contracts. Watch. I could try and murder her. I have a 63% chance of murdering her. 78% chance I'm not getting caught. It would just take me three years. But the problem is I can't do... I can't because I'm honest and just. If I had a character who was like... Like, what's my wife? She's ambitious, trusting, just. Yeah, she probably wouldn't murder anybody. Uh-oh. She is a seductress. Oh, no. Uh, well, maybe we should... Oh, my God. Okay, that's bad, but that's fine. Um, Amber's husband died. Oh, no, he's still alive. What happened to him? Hmm... Oh, maybe he got... I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, you're not good enough to be on my council. A toque? Well, now she's got a crown. She married the king of uh, Morovia. Sorry. Actually, I probably could still... Hmm. There is a barbershop uh, thing, I think, here. Yeah, see? Yeah, we'll go to this war. That's fine. Uh, oh, no, that's the renaming thing. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, look. We could change his beard. Could probably do it to our wife, too. Like, we switch up her hair. Ooh, she doesn't have a cloak at the moment. Maybe she doesn't need one. Hmm. Okay, we got called into a war. Let's see. Oh, it's so far away. For this one little county. But we probably should help. Raise our soldiers. Not just a land war, like very inland. Uh oh, my nephew Burnred has had a marital affair with Blaja. Gosh. Well, it's too bad. Yeah, let's ask the Pope for some money. And we'll ransom that girl who just had an affair. Yes, we want that. Okay, cynical or temperate, but I think, boy. Okay, we'll, you can't, yeah, well, I could have just kept her in jail, but instead I get like 30 gold from her. It's illegal to have extramarital affairs in 1895, you know? 
Uh, sure, Paul can go to a. Yeah, he'll go, he can go hang out. Let's siege out this one. Ooh, a beautiful rag doll. Huh. Hi, Nate. How's it going? It does sound like an accident. My counselor died. Um, this is the guy who just had the affair. We're not gonna. We're not gonna give him a position. We'll give it to my brother-in-law, who looks rather sick, I think. But that's fine. Look at him. He's not even sick, I don't think. Yeah, he's not sick. He just looks unwell. This is the game. I was, like, playing the other day, Melissa, with, like, uh... And, uh... Why are you wounded? Steven, what are you doing? Um... I was playing the other day, and the, uh... And I was playing while I was chatting in the Hang and Chill chat, and uh, as I was playing, I was ch chatting with Taylor. And, like, my son's my son murdered my grandson so that he could be like like he murdered his nephew so he could become king it was very scandalous i had to decide what to do um i know right um we'll take this one to wash your hands it means we're less likely to get sick I feel like Zachariah needs a needs a barbershop. Uh, like his beard, I don't think his beard is great. Hmm. I don't know. Is that better? It's basically the same. That's right. It's just called wash your hands. Uh, you can come there. Yeah, siege that out. There we go. 100%. End the war. Come on. There we go. We helped them win the war. It's nice of us. They would have lost for sure. Oh no, that guy, the la the sick guy died. That's my brother-in-law. Did he die? Uh Where is he? He was my w first wife's No, he's not dead. Where where is he? He's unlanded, I guess. Why did he leave? That did that did happen. I did, yeah, Jimothan, and then he Jimothan died. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, this guy can't be. Yeah, he's uh, he's also really sucks at it. So, well, actually, let me see. What is your? I was thinking whether I could put Earl Wolf here, and then put Bernard as the steward. But that no, it's not good. Um, ooh, can't have my court jester. Let's make Donner our chancellor. Yeah, Jimothan's a long-running joke from the dis... There was one night... It means he's disfigured, Melissa. Um, where I claimed I had a... I claimed I had a son named Jimothan. Um, all right, a flesh wound. A pool of blood is congealing underneath the feet of Lug? Lug? Lug skein. A diplomat sent by my ally, uh, King... 
Cosentin of Alba? By the immense quality quantity soaked up on my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on the spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess. I was defenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to wear him. However, as the rapscallion cushioned my fault, this feels very D and D. Uh, again, I will say. Uh, the diplomatic visit can continue, but it will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. Um, yeah, let's get him to a physician. Uh, so, I said that I had a son named Jimothan, and then somebody I can't remember, then I basically said, "Yeah, look, I, this is how I I came up with my son's name." And I found I did human name generator, and then I crossed out the top one on the list and wrote Jimothan. Um, was the joke? Yeah, this that guy's wild. Why was he just going to bleed out? Why did the king send him? This guy is a kinslayer. Who did he murder? He executed... His son? Oh, sh... Oh, wow. I just said... I just said the name Jimothan. I just made it up. Yeah. They do mention a Jimothy on, on Murderville. Yeah, it's pretty... I've watched the first three... I watched... I think I watched the Kamel Manjani one. So I could execute my sons, Melissa, but I can't m secretly plot to murder them, basically, is the point. Um, so I want to take over this little bit of land. Um, looks like he's currently fighting a war. Um, that's for that region... And this one is for that. So I, th I should be able to declare war on him. It should be fine. Um, okay. Uh, questionable concoction. Oh, I didn't realize it was um, based on a UK show, Nate. Um, questionable concoction. Walking between audiences, I overhear my principled court physician, Sigurda, discussing her latest flight of fancy. It is supposedly the strongest potion in existence and comes only from the farthest reaches of the world, or so say the merchants and alchemists I have spoken to. She pulls out a vial of pale yellow liquid, swirling it beneath my courtier's curling noses. d and They say it grants vigor and long life and is favored by those who are going into battle, but only the strongest can handle its powers. Strongest potion, you say? Give it here. Um, no, there's a 73 cent chance I will feel unwell and a 1% chance I'll die. So no, I could say only God grants us strength, but I would fire Sigurda or I would, I'll just insult her and spend 35, uh, thing. Who's, who's this? Why is my grandson involved? No, we'll just insult her. I've received a missive from Prince Murfin of pa This is the guy I'm at war with. He claims that my marshal has requested a sport in a plot against me. Um, no, I don't trust you, buddy. Steven has come of age. Ooh, um, pretty stressed. Oh, I'm going to bite my lip. Okay, we won the war for this single property. I'm going to give it to one of my sons. I'm going to give it to Paul, I think. He doesn't have any land. Yeah, let's give it to Paul. Ooh, I actually... Yeah, it's really good. It's pretty funny. Conan is in episode one. Um, let's look for...
somebody who has inheritable traits for you, Steven. You can have this pretty wife. We'll ransom these people for some money. It's really good, Nate. It's just not out yet um, for CK3. Um, but the CK2 Game of Thrones mod is super fun. There's a Lord of the Rings mod for this, which I could try at some point. I'm not a huge... I don't know a lot of the lore in Lord of the Rings, but there there is one. There's like a vampire one. Uh, vampire mod. There's a bunch of mods for this game. Yeah. But I'm very excited for the, um, the Game of Thrones mod. Um, this guy's a better... He has more intrigue than gamble here so we're gonna swap them out um let's see uh, sagurta was ecstatic to learn about the newfound interest in anatomy with her help i've significantly deepened my understanding of the human body i only wish there was could be some way to stave off the smell i'm sorry yeah we're learning about dead bodies um 100 chance that i will be fine so we'll do that um Okay, some titles can be, can be created and then we can give them to our kids, which should also help with succession. So let's try and save up some money. I also would like to work off some stress um, at some point. Um, we'll take this one, which is uh, disease resistance. So that's good. How come that's not working? Maybe you have to be a child. Hmm. Let's hold court again. Probably gonna play for like 10 more minutes. I don't know. Call it a night. I'm faced with that guy's name. Uh, her sad eyes which grow larger and more pitiful as his mother gently ushers him towards my throne. King, this boy has been at Alfred's court with no one to watch over him since the disappearance of his dear papa. Please look to his future. What can be done with such a child? Um, he's a bastard child. He's three years old. Uh, I could raise him. He could become my wife's uh, ward or I could say this is not my problem hmm she can't take care of him himself um, what's he good at he's good at stewardship who's better between my wife and I me much better I'll raise the boy sure um, my lord I'm a genealogist and as you are aware uh and you are aware you are of noble origin. However, noble is not quite the same as divine or mythical. A desire to write a scroll which will trace your complete lineage back to the dawn of history. He wants me to pay him some gold. A lot of grandeur for my court. Yeah, I can afford it. Let's see my lineage. Um, two of my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. One bows before me. My lord, murder is wanton in the city streets throughout the kingdom of England. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. Harold kicks him out of the way. Safety is each man learning to protect himself. Banning carry of weaponry will castrate the townspeople. So we could get some control go growth. Don't want to do this one because it will be stress. Or I make them fight. Uh, let's have a weapons ban in the city. Yeah, this actually sword control, Melissa. My business here is done. Uh, the genealogist has returned. Unfurls a wrong scroll. Uh, I have heard the truth of your origin, my lord. Today we unveil the great history. Standing before us is King Alfred, son of Aethelwulf, Sired by the fearful petty king Eckbert, fruit of the loins of Almond, son of the remarkable Effa Eopsen, child of blah, 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 blah. Um, 
Okay, it is time for a nap. I shall dream of my own glory. I don't want that one because I'm diligent. Uh, all my courtiers lose opinion of me. My family members gain opinion of me. Or all courtiers can gain opinion of me. I'll probably do that. Let's have everybody uh, like me. Uh, okay, let's create the Duchy of Cornwall. And let's give it to my son. Now he's a duke. So hopefully... Yeah, he's not getting anything down here. And then hopefully when we create this, that's all Steven will get. Fruits of the land. Well, what fruit? Well, not really, because we need to know which fruit is the fruit of the loins. Uh, this one is restraint. We could take embrace celibacy, but we probably won't. We have a lot of kids anyway. Uh, our son Roberts would like a position on the council, but he's not quite as good as anybody else. Uh, my Archbishop is beckoned. Join me in the circle of the brass orbs and candles arranged on staves throughout the dark room. <laughs> this feels wrong, he says. I'll tell him my intentions are pure. Let's go to a feast. So we are powerful enough we could move north again. But I would like to reduce my stress and I would like to... Uh, that's it. I just want to reduce my stress and save some money up. Um, they would like me to come to war, but they're so far away. So I'll say yes, but I don't think I'm going to send any soldiers. We'll see how the war is going. Oh, they'll win without me. They'll be fine. Nate, do you want to name a baby? This is my oldest daughter has had another child. Has a son. First name of C-Pop in the chat can be the baby's name. And then they... Yeah. Should we have another Jimothan? Jimothan the second. We'll do that. Another quick baby. Hopefully not sickly. Yeah, we'll uh, gain the trait herbalist, which gives us some extra health boost, I think. Some intrigue, some learning, and a health boost. Um, Jimothan, this new Jimothan is, is very uh, down the line. Uh, here, I can show you. Um, the King of England. Yeah, the line of succession. Like, he's not even close, you know? Zechariah, and then Zechariah's son Samuel, and then Robert, and then Stephen. So. Yeah, ba there's a lot of babies now that they have a lot of people in our dynasty. See, our dynasty has, like, 15 living members now. So. Um. I need 250 gold for this one. This person would like to make a goblet, but I can't afford it. I'll show my son in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. This is where this game gets weird, everybody. If it hasn't been weird yet, this is where it's going to get weird. So here's what happened. I wait patiently on the throne for the arrival of Prince Robert. Prince Robert is my son. 
He kneels in defense, in deference, sorry, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the kingdom. That's great. He's my son. That's great. I gave him some land. That's great. Prince Robert rises, looking awkward. From the corner of my eye, I notice my daughter, Princess Elizabeth of England, swooning, clearly besotted by the Duke. If my freaking kids are going to be Jamie and Cersei, I'm going to be so mad. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So here's what I could do. I could have Robert spend a little bit of prestige, which he has a bunch anyway. And then my court and my dynasty will get uh, some renown and some prestige, whatever. Or I could say, how dare you? I could like call, call it out. And then Robert would get the nickname The Stud. I guess like, I don't know, his like... T being eyed up by someone in court, I guess, gives him the nickname set. He'll lose 10 opinion of me, which is fine. He likes me 100%. I would gain a bunch of stress, so I don't think it's worth it. But I, the idea of, like, my son being called the stud uh, is hilarious. So, But I think I'm, I'm going to do option A. As much as, as, as funny as it is to have, for Robert to almost beat the stud. Uh, stop calling me into wars. I'll say yes, but I'm not coming over to help. Uh, I can work off some stress. No, I don't want to give up my artifacts. You look tired, my lord, my jester says. I know the cure for that. It's called East of Indus. What do you say? Shall I start reading? He beckons me to sit down. It is an amusing text. I do need a break. Uh, I'll take the more stress rather than becoming his friend. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to send my spy master to find secrets. Robert, I think, is over here. Yeah. Can you go please find if my son is sleeping with my daughter? God damn it. Robert's my heir, too. Ooh, uh-oh. Amber's in prison. Uh, we'll take know thyself. I get to know, I'll know if I'm about to die, which is great. Um, okay, let's create this title. And then we'll give it to Steven. Which... Again, okay, yeah, so now I only need to, I need to get some stuff to give to Paul, and then Zechariah can get everything else, which will mean when I'm in charge, I'll be more, when I play him. Um, so let's go after, maybe this duchy here. They have like 5,000 men. I could also go after... Ooh, I don't have a cast this belly on them. Get a lifestyle perk. Um, before I go to war with them, let me just check. Oh, there's no holy orders. Um, okay, let's try... Uh, uh, Yeah, I'm going to break my alliance. Um, let's go to war for Jorvik. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. Oh no, no, they want me to go to war. Sure. That's fine. Ooh, we took their child, one of their children. Normally that sounds much more evil outside of this, you know, outside of that game. That's much eviler. All right, Nate, are you still here? You name a child? Yeah, generally kidnapping is bad. In in war in this game, it's totally fine. Tomalt, cool. 
Uh, it's a daughter. Yeah, that's cool. Tomalt. It's uh, Elizabeth has had a lot of children. She has six children. Send these folks down here. Uh oh, there's a lot of them now. Let's come back up. Okay, this is good. He can't... <laughs> uh, he didn't find any uh, secrets in Robert's court, which hopefully means Robert is not sleeping with his daughter. Or my daughter, his sister. Um, Pillar of the community. I've noticed that my archbishop has been nervously pacing in the room. I ask him what's the matter. It is... Arengard. She has taken to scaling a pillar in the palace courtyard and remaining there all day in quiet contemplation. She refuses food and drink. There's a missing capital there. And says relatively little when questioned. Ecstatic practices like these aren't unheard of, but it's bothering someone in your court. Um, I could send her to the Pope. Um, it is stressing me out, Nate. I gotta say. If I if I die, I come I become my son, and I would rather not find out that they're sleep actually I don't actually become Robert, so that I I'm gonna become Zachariah, unless Zachariah dies. Uh, and even in that case I would play Zachariah's son, Samuel, so it's fine. Um Yeah, just ignore her. Court jester, several fools in one coat. Hmm, I don't remember my serene jester being this girthy. My lord, excuse me. You see, I've had a bit too much to eat, and it would seem my stomach does not agree with me. <sighs> he let out a fart. This fart joke in this game. Suddenly, his coat bursts open, uncovering a rooster, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, I thought it was hilarious. I lose a bunch of stress. That's great. There we go. We beat the Vikings. Uh, we could go up to try and help. Where are these wars happening? Uh, nope, not going over there and not going over there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's disband these troops. Oh, we should fight them. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, nope. Later. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up here, but what we'll do, I'll let's find a new steward. Um, we'll put, uh, oh, this is the guy, he was, uh, this is the guy who was, was, cheat, was uh, having an affair. He was an adulterer. He's now severely injured and one-legged, but he can be my steward. He's very good. Um, these are just battles. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this duchy. It's a bunch of this land. Let's give this one to my son, Paul. Where's Paul? There's Paul. Paul, uh, wait. Paul, would you like some of this land? And now I just need to, I need to make this a duchy. And then ooh, this should be enough to do it. Uh, here we go. Oh, usurp this. Let's give this duchy to Paul. And now Paul should not. Oh, man, it's still going to get split up a bit. Robert needs more land. All right, that's okay. Uh, I get to keep most of my good titles, so that's fine. When I become Zachariah. Oh, Zachariah, your wife. 
is in jail. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end it for now. Um, thanks for coming to watch. This is very fun. And I will, uh, yeah, probably do this again another day. Uh, if there's any other games people want to see me play, do that too. Bye.